Good evening everyone. Sorry I was a minute late. I was putting some stuff away because it's a bit messy. Um, welcome. Uh, ooh, have we got on already? Hello there Egan. Hello Craig. Hello Smog. Uh, itchy ear. Um, good evening Tomo. Uh, 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 and Good evening, everyone else. Welcome to another Frostgrave night. Uh, hi, Archnin. Hi, Ronan. I see you've got your internet back, Ronan. And Ash. I haven't spoke to you in ages, Ash. <laughs> so, um, where were we at last night? I just finished doing some of the work on the skellies for my team <laughs> welcome back mate <laughs> even though you've been here most of the day so um, yeah it's yeah <laughs> so what we have is I got a little bit of work done um, good evening um, Right, what's them? So I basically got um, the skellies to a certain point. I've done some basing. I've done some more work on the skellies, so I'll show you that in a minute. We also have uh, some of I've got some of the basing done, so I want to do the snow effects on the basing and stuff like that, and show you how I'm going to do them. Um, so again, I'm going to get bits and pieces done. We've got a couple of other bits to show you from what we've been working on. And we have been graciously lent some uh, war bands for playing on the live stream. And we're going to do that either Wednesday or Thursday next week. So, with all being well, we could actually have some... Um, actual online games coming well not online games games to stream to you guys of Frostgrave so hopefully Ronald will have his uh, warband ready by then <laughs> so quick bounce over at the painting um, I got a little bit more work done oh, this is the one I got the close up I got a little bit more work done on um, the skelly he's now got part of his quiver i've decided to go with red uh the box art shows like a uh, black quiver with blue highlights on the uh the actual arrows but they've been looking at them that they've been meticulously done that they're a lot higher level than uh, we're going to be doing on these so we've gone with the red. I'm going to put a red wash in there. Uh, I've also done the handles on the bow in red. Um, we'll put a, I'm thinking a sepia wash over them. In theory. In theory. So yes, we've got that. Um, we've got a couple of little bits left to do on the skellies. The other ones don't have the red on yet so I'll get them done the basing on these are uh, we did the rim in black and uh, thank you for the follow HTW videos um, so when you look at the basing it is uh, Vallejo brown earth uh, dark earth sorry and then we have done a a light null in wash on it just to get the, I'm sorry just to get the recesses um, and some light and dark and then I'm going to use in a minute or in a bit Vallejo snow texture it is the dark peanut butter it is definitely the dark peanut butter but the colors spot on for what I want uh, I want a necromancer graveyard earth color with the frost over the top the top of it sort of thing so very much like uh, this fella that you saw me do uh, some time ago now I've done his partner in crime because these are the my thieves 
my wispy thieves and I've done the same I did this a while ago that's just been done tonight so that needs its wash over it and then some snow so I'm going to try that and maybe you look for some I'm sure I had some snow uh, they're up there I think they could be up there somewhere I think it's going to be the bottom one which is going to be a pain uh, some snow hello yes long time no see mate uh, hope you're keeping well and nice and safe so yeah I'm going to I've got some I'm sure I've got some snow frost uh, frost um, tufts as well that I might try and get to use on them I think they'll look pretty cool once the frost tufts are in place um, I've also noticed that on the call to arms set they reanimate so the eyes are glowing so I may try glowing eyes on them but they're very much like uh, white walkers glowing eyes I was tempted to do the airbrush on the ve and get the very very fine airbrush out I'll try we'll have a look uh, so yeah the, all, all the Draugr have glowing eyes so there might be a the blue unfortunately Mark not Tesseract and welcome Mark and hiya Paul briefly uh, good to see you tonight so I've got the Draugr painted in the base colours so this is our usual white which is just a white um, primer and then I've airbrushed Iron Arch skin um, hello Mimo Supremo I'm wondering who you are now there must be someone I know you wouldn't call me a loser if you didn't know me oh that's cracked ah that right yeah yeah so that for anyone that hasn't seen it yet that's the state of the end of my finger look it's it's <laughs> huge bits missing <sighs> so yes as i said I got them done to that with the iron art skin, just with the airbrush over the white. Uh, they're going to get some washes. I'm think I'm not 100% certain yet because they do need a reddish tinge to it. Looking at, and I'm 50/50 on Reichland and Reichland, like a Reichland, yeah, um, um, basically a Reichland wash over with. Oh, I'm trying to think. Something yellowy. Maybe it's a sepia. Like a, a, get a sepia colour into it. If that makes sense. It's it. it um, who's yeah? Who's calling Lee Buff? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent certain because I'm copying off the box art. Uh, or trying to copy off the box art and they are they're very fleshy uh, let me see if I can show you uh, in the gallery because I do have uh, the gallery set up so if I was back to the chatting thing um, I've been talking to Um, the art, but some of the some of the vi game video footage and some of the bits that I've been looking at actually show them as fleshy. Uh, da -da. Uh, it the top one. So as you can see, that they, they have got it's yes, it's very mummified, but it still has yeah it it does show the fleshy so that's why i was thinking it, it's not red enough to be um 
yeah, it, it's not red enough to be just Reichland. In fact, what I can do is let's have a bit of Reichland on. Now, if you see that, I don't know if that feels a little too. I don't know. I am thinking Reichland with looking at the picture, Reichland with a bit of sepia in. Um, I'm going to do them now, actually, while we're on. Uh, no, I'm not actually. But quickly, before I get onto that, is I don't know where my mixing palettes have gone either. Did I put them in? I didn't. Stationary basing. Everything's in new places, so bear with me. It could be anywhere. Or I'll just mix it as I go along. Um. So the other thing that we've been um, talking about and doing, and Snowy's picked up a couple of these bits, is some scenery. Now we've been 3D printing these. They're, the files are free. Um, you can go along and get the files from various places, but um, you can't commercially sell them. So these are mine. Uh, I'm going to keep these. Snowy's painting them all for me. Um, such a generous offer and there is loads um, there was there's about 30 houses that they do and then a, I think it was 25 pieces of uh, scenery like this I could share them for free they're on oh what's they called Thingiverse, thank you, Bebs. Um, so yeah, th they're all on Thingiverse. Ah, grey area, Tom. And that's another grey area as well, mate. Um, we do like to support. If I could get in touch, and I have messaged the lad that did these. If I could get in touch with him, and say if I print them, I'll give you a. Yes, good question, Egan. <laughs> oh, uh, what were they called? Ulvheim. Um U L V H E I M Ulvheim buildings. Um I'll drop the because obviously I've used it, I will also drop the link in here. Um it's even better. There's the full Creative Commons license for the, the guy. Um, he does loads. But he also sells files on his own website. So if you go along to that, move on from there to his website, he does some fantastic work. Me and Snowy spent about an hour looking at his stuff um, the other week. Um, and we have... Uh, we said we were going to see how these go, and these have gone fantastic. And as I said... <sighs> The only downside, and Egan will understand this, we've done this on very good quality. Um, that was 35 hours. So if we were printing this for sale, this would be a £35 piece. No, th this is PLA, mate. Yeah, it's on the highest setting that I can go to, basically. Um, and I, I will admit that the I can see some of the lines in it. Um, the camera is helping me out a little bit there. But yeah, once it's painted up, I think the lines will vanish. Um, hey, look, look, under extrusion. One single line of under extrusion. Yeah. So, 
if you were getting a 3D printer to print stuff like this, Tom, I would suggest something like an Ender 5. About 300 quid, exactly what we've got. And we hammer ours. Um, touch wood, I've only had a handful of failures on them. And I'd say a lot of those failures were um, pink controller interface error. Uh, me getting stuff wrong, me not doing stuff how I should be doing it. Um, it's a, yeah, that's not yep, yeah, exactly, Paul. Uh, I agree totally. But yeah, um, we've looked at giveaways. We have some giveaways to do um, when we <laughs> totally forgot about them, and um, it was only like this week when I found them. Uh, but we've got some giveaways that we can do for Marvel Crisis that we may have already done. Um, Crushed crates for graffiti. That's one for Ash. I hope Ash is taking notes of these. And if, if you can't tell, my glasses have just lit up. Oh, they are nice. Ooh. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me close that back down. If you haven't noticed, I've got two new monitors that do literally light up my glasses when I um, put stuff on. So, let me see if I can quickly find a pot to mix some washing. There will be some over here, I'm sure. Yeah. And I bet I don't have a little pipette, so it doesn't matter about the pipette. In fact, um, so, when we were discussing my overstock of paint, I don't know if Paul's on, but that's one of the boxes that's overstock of extra paint that I've got. And what I did have, oh, look at this. A GW mixing pot. Let's have some Draugr flesh. Um, it's just more of a challenge for your Ash. Uh, you've got to do graffiti that's been crushed. It'd be interesting. Uh, where's my, uh, spare washes, 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 washes. Not them washes, they're the old washes. So, Fugan Orange, let's have a look at, no idea what that one is. Sony and Camera Shade. What was I after? I wasn't after Drucky Eye, I was not Orange. Seraphin. So that's a pot of Reichland, can use that, and a pot of Seraphin. There we go. So I'm not using any of my, is that Reichland? So I'll shake the two pots. I'm going to go for a 50-50 mix and work from there if I need to. But I think 50-50 is pretty, pretty spot on. Um, and the bits that I don't use, I will just drop into that. Is anyone having issues with the quality? Is it clear enough or am I breaking up? Yeah, thank you, Tom. So, half of Reichland. This is where I get these mixed up and put them both in the wrong pot. Uh, that's Seraphim, so that's Reichland. I'll empty the tub of Reichland as if by magic. It 
it could just be me watching it from the same place it's coming from which is highly likely a little bit more there you go and the rest of it in the big pot And then these two pots go in the bin. No, they don't. They get kept because I'll run out of these super duper mixing pots. Um, and that's shaken, not stirred. Mr. Bond. Right, so we have our Drauga wash. This takes me back. Look at that. Oop. Old school pots. I've just realized I've, the first one I've picked up is the captain that's got very little flesh tones on him anyway, but yeah. <laughs> Shh. If you don't tell anyone, I won't. So the reason I've mixed the pot and not just mixed one or two, um, a, a pot of like a, a tub with a little bit in is I have um, two full sets of Drauga to do. And I think, I am going to, So I've dropped some Karaberg in there as well because it hasn't gone reddish enough. So yeah. So now because the wash hasn't gone dry, if you scrub it in, it'll blend in with this. I do like that. So, and they just get, it's the first layer, uh, sorry, it's the first paint to go on. Um, can just lash it all over. We're going to be painting things like, the sword's going to be a different color. The, um, the war dress or whatever it is, kilt or whatever it is wearing. Um, and loincloth and everything will be painted in browns or whatever colours we we want to put on them. So if you get the the skin tone done, and then we'll do the dry brush over the top of that, and if we need to, oh, it's actually looking really good. Um, but yeah the reason for the pot is I'll be coming back to do more of these uh, I'm almost considering doing a couple of sets for a video so if I'm doing a Drauga for a video I'd probably end up painting the the Drauga and um, selling, selling a full set off afterwards uh, fully painted in the idea of frost grave as well I could probably do a warband so if I was to do a giveaway warband uh, for, what's it called? Um, 
Frostgrave from I've had notification the other boxes have been sent today so um, we we have had a uh, good news that they are coming uh, so we'll be able to do a full warband do like the colour that's come it took some thinking and pondering and stuff, but yeah, that's my special wash for Draugr now. <laughs> and they can all stand there and dry off nicely. So, archers, back to getting them done as well. So, I've on this one, I have done the. the hilts there and the red in there so I'll put some closer up glasses on and I'll get the rest done um, I'm using good old fashioned GW Macrite red um, one of my favorite reds coverage on it's brilliant um, And it is a really good fantasy type red, if that makes any sense to anyone. A little bit of water. And just doing the, the feathers on the archers. Uh, sorry, feathers on the arrows, not on the archers. And again, we'll probably pick it up with a wash just to define some of the um, detail in that. And then a little bit more water. Have some fine work and this is a broken toad number one but I'm using it for fine work because the point on it is just spot on um, and it means that I have a lot more time with the paint that's in the brush so I'm less time thinning the paint I'm less time putting the the nose of the the tip sort of thing to a fine point and more time on the miniature whereas if you use one of these high detail super duper three hair brushes yeah you get the detail but you're forever going backwards and forwards to the pot so what you should look for is brushes with a really really good point but with a decent um, decent body as well and I do apologize I can't use the top my top finger um, so I may look like a, a prat half the time when I'm uh, spinning it round did we just lose the stream or are we all good? Mm -mm -mm. Chat seems to have died. Has it? Oh, cool. Uh, it's just some reason it's coming up there that there's a, a delay on the chat for some reason, but. That seems to be all right. Sorry. Um, so yeah, yeah, Paul. Um, when I paint, and I've taught this to a few people, I tend to like link. So I hold like that, and when I'm painting, if I shake, 
both hands shake at the same time and I don't get jitters. I've shown this to Jack a few times. If you can ground one hand against the other, you can paint if you do have the shakes or you do cough, sneeze, burp, fart, whatever. Both hands move at the same time and you don't get too much of a um, displacement. But I do tend to grip that and I'm struggling because it bloody hurts um, to grip where I want to grip at the moment. But as I said, today's been a good day. I've managed to get the air into it. Um, I'm going to clean that brush. And it's gone. I've got a, like a hard surface over it now. So I'm actually a little bit more relaxed that it's not going to need cutting off or any sort of severe things like that. Oh, no, definitely not, Matt. Um, I've, it's took a long time to get to my level of being a twat it just uh, it's not something that you can do naturally either it takes a lot of work um, you'll get there one day of paint I can see my box of paint don't show Joe the box of paint don't show Joe the box of paint yes it is um, I have a uh, Jack knows this as well I had all the GW ones and they're just fatter um, and they sit in your hand just that little bit too fat uh, where's Martin when you need that kind of joke um, so yeah that sort of um, The other thing is, it's not an automatically. <laughs> there we go. Catch you later, Paul. Take care. Uh, I'm going to do the bottom of the bags as well. How is Martin this fine evening? Cool. So what I've done is I've watered it down quite considerably. So don't want the full colour. So it just looks like it's... Um, It'll look more because with it being thin, even though it's a foundation and it's very, very um, opaque, with it being thinned out, some of the brown and the washes, some of the washes from underneath will um, will show through on it. Cool, it's good to hear. So, um, we've been discussing, uh, obviously Ronan's been here and at Mr. Ash Eden painting over there in T Borough. Uh, we've been talking about the patron. Um, the, uh, it's set up. Uh, it's just not open because there's no content there and I don't want people jumping onto the patron um, when there's nothing there for you guys. So... We've looked at it and we had some ideas. So we're gonna 
That is me. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to offer tears. Um, not the salty tears that Mark, Martin always cries. Just plain old Boris Johnson tears of excellence. Um, so we're going to, I think at the moment, we're going to have five tiers of subscription. Um, hoping we understand how it works properly. And going from there. <laughs> there are some of the naked ideas are the best ideas though. I'm just using some Beastie did I use Beastie Brown to do them? I did use Beastie Brown to do them. Can't double up on that colour because it won't show up. See, Martin's ideas would have been better than mine there. Um, Doomble? Oh, Doomble. So yes, five tiers to start with, or five tiers that we've thought of for now. Um, can't think of splitting it down any further would... Um, so it's just GW Doombolt layer. The first tier is going to be um, the basic tier that is there to support us. Um, and it will be a £2 subscription and you will get the news articles and you will get pictures of stuff that we're painting as we go. Um, and, and that's just like a two pound support piece and so the next one up will be with hoping that this all fits and works right um, will be a five pound patron a subscription and that's where all the videos will be so we'll have videos from painting a full figure like a Draugr or painting um, techniques like this is how to use washes this is the best way to apply them and, and I'll definitely be having uh, no it'll be a because of what else comes with it uh, Craig they'll be subscribing on here but they'll also be the patron because part of it's going to be offering uh, a discount to the shop as well so we're going to have a uh, a, a tier further up that offers discounts and a tier that offers freebies so uh, where were we so yeah tier two will be videos they weren't won't be these videos so there'll be videos that i record um specifically for going on um boom even I was quick at that one. So yeah, um, it will be basically uh, the basics to start with. He's out to dry brush and that'll go into the library. He's out to apply washes. And day in the life of Dalton videos, you can definitely have them. Um, more for beginners and stuff like that. But um, the next tier up will be uh, ten pound a month, and you'll get everything from the the lower tiers as you go up. So you'll get a um, a code to use on eBay, uh, uh, sorry, on our website, which will give you ten percent off. <sighs> you could do it's it's not that well up and running yet and we haven't advertised our only fans just yet see come along spoiling things first it's t-shirts and then it's talking about only <sighs> I can't keep a secret with Martin yeah so the whole patron side of things will be extras um, more stuff, different videos. Um, we will advertise it in here as well, but it will be sep totally separate um, bits and pieces and content. Uh, so yes, the next level up will be £10 a month, so a £5 increase from the video level, 
will give you a 10% voucher or a 10% code to use on Protec. Uh, that code will be usable only by you. Um, and it will be usable as many times the month you subscribe as you wish. Yes, we'll get it set up. Um, uh, possibly. Um, I will have a look at, yeah, I'll have a look at that. We are doing, we are looking at having, oh dear. Yes, so Mark's going to be our new um, uh, BBCD. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've we've not got it set up yet, Ulfric. Um, and no, they're not backdatable. You already got a massive amount of bargains. Those, um, oh, what they're called, Mythos are absolutely amazing. Um, they they should be with you by now, mate. Um, so yes, what we're also going to go up to is. Um, so this is only ta tier three. Tier four is going to be the ten percent code, the videos, the news, the photos. But also, every two months you will get a Protec painting package. Now we're literally going to take the extra amount that you pay over the two months, which is about thirty pound, and buy product that um, that you won't normally be able to get off really easy um we will charge basically whatever money we get from you guys over the two dalton bobbleheads could be a thing so um we've worked it out that we will get 30 pound over the two months to spend on you guys we will spend that 30 pound at trade prices so there's a chance you're going to get 40 to 50 pounds worth of painting supplies. Um, be it paint, be it brushes. Um, we're looking at things like uh, contacting Sneak to have some Sneak sashes in there. Uh, trying to do something with, oh yeah, definitely Expos cards. Um, speak to the paintbrush companies. And see what they say about um, supporting us and we send some paint out it's a basic idea from um, model box and stuff like that you pay them 25 pound and they give you a box of stuff I, I feel I can do a better job than what they offer because I'll basically be getting stuff that I want to try um, things like the packs of metallic paints um, if I get a bargain, you guys are getting the bargain passed straight on to you. If I get a load of half-price stock, that stuff comes to you at the half-price level. Um, I won't be putting it in at the, the trade price. If I pay 50p for a load of paint, that's what it will be passed on to you as. So you that will come every two months. Um, we're also discussing things like the foundation paint you just can't get this for money it's like uh, that's 25 pound a month but you also get the 10 pound cord um and all the other stuff so and then the way we've looked at it is the level below you're paying 10 pound to jump up to this tier the 25 pound tier there's 15 pound in the pot for me to spend on you guys uh, every two mo uh, every month and then ship it to you every two months sort of thing. So after the second payment, I, I'll have already been buying the stuff. Um, but we'll be going things like, I definitely want to try and get some of the Broken Toad stuff in there. Uh, the Fugazi, their spearhead brushes, stuff like that, where I can go to you. I've been trying these. They're good. I enjoy using them. Um, Try one yourself. It's in your Protec. I'll have to. We'll have to think of a good name for it. Um, and then on top of that, 
the tier five one, which is basically the at the moment is the Piesta de Resistance um, one, will be fifty pound a month. The fifty pound a month one is going to be the f <laughs> Protec Party Punch is Protec Care Package. Mm -hmm. Um, is news and photos, the videos, the ten percent code, the painting supplies every two months, and a painted mini of the month. So every two months you will get a fully painted mini from us. We're looking around at minis that are round about twenty pound to buy, and then obviously our painting on top of that, and they'll be. They won't be just to the base level. They'll, we'll put a little bit more care and effort into these ones, but that is the top end package. We're not expecting. We're expecting maybe one or two people to take that one up. But um, yeah, th there's various things that we can we can play around with. Maybe uh, if we get them, uh, we'll get a box of L Legion characters um, and we'll paint them. We'll do. Ten of them, and then the Protec box, Protec box, Protec Protec box, Protec box. Um, are you limiting the number in each tier? I believe we will have to, Ulfric. Um, I think the top package, the mini one, um, I'm going to limit to round about. Five or ten uh, the painting supplies one unless it really takes off and we get a lot of requests for it I think the painting supply so if we went for five of the mini of the month ten of the painting supply um, 20 of the cords unlimited video one and unlimited news ones and and take it from there to start with uh, but yeah it's a very good question on the limiting because at the moment it could um, it, it could get quite out of hand quite quickly because you guys know what I'm going to be like with these painting supply boxes I'll always want you to have something nice and there maybe be promos if we get a load of promos and you know I, I'll treat you well so and things like we've just found a supply because we can't get hold of the snow texture at the moment um, but we have found a supply that does the small versions of these so things like dropping one of them in so you can try stuff that we've been doing on the stream um, packs of uh, what's it called gamers grass we can speak to gamers grass about getting some of their um, single packs instead of the triple packs that sort of thing all anything that we can think of that I want to try and use I'd also like to get to you guys to use so so gamers grass box so I should have got this down before um, and that is perfect that's the ones that I want that's the ones I was thinking of that's the rough stuff and some little dots Um, no corn definitely not not seen any such things like them she has on her way as well I've, I've ordered she -Ra. No, I'm not. The limited edition, you can only get them from uh, Archon Studios uh, on their website. Um, and then they're limiting them to a thousand of each and they're using them very cleverly. So these are, yeah, Archon Studios. There's still got some of them left. Um, and basically they're using them to pay for the game design. 
So we keep buying them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and as we buy them, it like funds their their game. They're fully. You get a card in them to use in the game and all that. So it feels like a bit of a Kickstarter, but you get stuff up front. If that makes sense. Fighting with the tools because. Pliers. Uh, tweezers, sorry. Yeah, um, I, I saw the. There was a, a thing about Archon doing the board game, and I was like, ooh, notify me of anything. Uh, and then this came up. I may have already. Uh, I may have ordered some scenery packs off them as well um, to try out. They did a Kickstarter with some scenery packs. So. This is Gamers Graphs Tufts. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to put a couple down. Uh, one big one and a couple of little ones. In fact, I'm only going to put two down because that's quite a lot on there. It's got a little bit more than I fancied, but it will do. It will do nicely. That was a very bad Leeds accent of that'll do nicely from Pig. Baron Von Trapjaw, yeah. Um, I, I ordered the Shearer um, just before Christmas um, when I was watching Black Magic Craft. He got a load of scenery from them to do his Warhammer scenery. And I was like, ooh, um, I like the scenery. Where's it from? And it was like, ooh, Archon. Went to their website. I was like, ooh, Shearer's out now. Uh, I'll have that as well. So, yeah, I ended up buying both. And now I'm worried about getting hit for import duties from our amazing Brexit deal. So, that's going to be um, the basing side of stuff, but want is a tiny dry brush something that I can so is that a dry brush it is I know I've got a proxy white somewhere any of them have I had it not? <sighs> I do need to get to grips with all of the way uh, it is so probably a new tub um the massive total of zero Tomo yeah that'll do Dalton that'll do um I didn't back it mate and here Tomo goes into shock. Ah, that's why that one's in there. So sometimes um, dries do go dry. Yeah, um, I got my uh, tinted grill today mate and I still have I, I'm at that point that I still haven't even cracked it open um, we're going to try 
Right, so you wait. Another one. Oh, this is a new one. Yeah, Tainted Grill. Um, that was the one. So we're going to try it. Uh, not Tainted Grill. We're going to try the new one, the... Yes, what was the other one that's just come out called? Um, what I've done is I've got the Praxi White Dry Brush. Ether fails, yeah. And what I'm going to do is just clip some of the, the raised bits. So you've got... Um, what looks like frost on the base and the frost contrasts when all this dries um, against the the graveyard earthy colour very nicely does the same with the GW um, grey basing paste as well Yes, I know, mate. Um, we will... Ronan's very eager to start playing some of these games that are sat on my shelf doing nothing. Um, uh, and before anyone jumps on us and says we're being naughty and stuff like that, Ronan is part of our support bubble. Um, with Ronan living quite a distance away from his family, and not being able to see them he joined our support bubble so he can come around here he helps out a lot as well with us at the moment uh, so we, we see him every other day um, and he's eager to get playing games we've had a couple of games a couple of days of playing games and we want more even I'm saying I want to play games which is like people are wondering who I am Yes, I know we didn't. We will though. Um, but yes, I, I, to be honest, as people are saying there, um, Ronan, I, I'd like, even if it was like a Saturday or a Sunday or something like that, um, I'd like to be able to stream it so people can actually watch. Um, I know they're not going to get the game experience of actually being with us, but... <laughs> um, but yeah it's about as close as we can get to helping you playing and watching games and stuff so this is just the snow by the way this is just the textured snow and you, you I did this on the charity stream on all of the things if you drag it over and scratch it on it looks a lot more realistic than just dumping it on sort of thing um, if once you've got it built up and there's you've got like oh you need that in the middle you just fill the middle out and you get the snow build up and a bit more and if you've got very little on the spatula like that couple of bits say on the actual tufts <clears throat> and you get it it could does work really well I've seen some people use it and it come out um, where it's just a blob on there and yes it can look okay but dropping it on and scratching it into place and filling gullies and that sort of stuff like snow wood then yeah and if you want just drag up a picture of um, frozen uh, snow covered ground and stuff like that there's pictures out there it's I looked at frost um, frost forest forest in winter and stuff like that when I first started doing it 
and again just scratching it in leaving patches because snow is very um it's it's not going to form in exact places and you don't know whether there's uh people walked over it in the last 10 minutes to to melt it and sludge it you don't know if a, a wizard's just bombarded it with fire or um anything like that so and again let's have some and if you're worried about it falling off when you've done your um varnish like tester's dull coat which is what i would recommend wouldn't that Ronan? But yeah, it's a very frost gravy um, base. And what I have noticed is I've done something stupid and I covered everywhere except for two circles and I've done it on him as well. Uh, and it looks a bit silly that his it wasn't up to his feet on any of them. So there it, just so it looks as though he's, he's stood in a bit of it rather than it just looking like it's miraculously missed his feet. There you go. There's the second one in snow colours. And even kits like this um, enough stuff to make 20 um, bases of this sort of type so I, in our kits that we the painting kits we could do a lot of basing materials where you don't get the 10 12 pound basing pot but we can do smaller pots we can actually make up our own pots um, split down some bigger pots uh, if it's stuff that if you're not going to use all of it then we will just make smaller ones for you and see how that goes um. <laughs> yeah yeah we haven't had that we had some um Boxing Day, but nothing much since then, sort of thing. So there, a uh, little bit of scratchy painty. And they're all done with the basing. All the bases on these are going to be same. It's going to be the the graveyard earth colour that we do, um, and then yeah, exact follow the exact same thing. So, where's Reichland Flesh Shade? Uh, sorry, from Sepia. Reichland. So, the red bits that I've done, I'm going to quickly give. Uh, I'm not throwing blood all over them. Um, However, the the lad that was here earlier that I think's disappeared, Tom would have thrown blood over everywhere. Oh, he's not still on. <sighs> Typical. All right. If I get through there and get around the hand again, Skellies. 
do like these skelly arches. I probably should have done a full skeleton, um, a full skelly warrior warband. Um, that been amazing. But this will be just as good. I do like the Draugr as well, so and it's all necromancy, and that's what I'm doing as a necromancer. So it is all good. I also don't want to be spending um, weeks painting um, a ten-man warband. Not if Snowy can knock some bits out. Uh, the fantastic, they're over there. I'll, um, I'll get them out in a minute. Don't tell him. So Snowy's one of these guys that goes, uh, I've knocked out a warband this weekend sort of thing, just a tabletop, it's nothing special. And you, he holds out and you're like, wow, that's fantastic. <sighs> to be honest, he could be sat here doing it. He, he could be sat doing exactly what I'm doing now um, if he wanted probably better Shh. so I'll quickly grab some of his stuff it's absolutely gorgeous so this is all snowy stuff that he's done um, if you're a, if you're on our discord you'll see that he's been doing some bits and pieces so that's his, that's his wizard. That's really, really nice. The swirls on the, the crystal ball. Um, that's his thief, or one of the thieves. Um, all magnetized, so man at arms or a knight. Uh, little archer rogue. There's a whole load of zombies. He does like painting his zombies. Ooh. Um, I'm sure that, that's a metal figure. I can't remember what that's off, but I've seen them before. Yeah. Female archer. The blue is a crystal. Which is just one of the... He's done two blue, two green, and two red. Um... And they're objective markers. They're all cracking. Uh, this has to be one of my favourite, which is a snow troll. How class is that? Yeah, it does. It does look strange from the top down. Um, but when you see the tray that he's done, and this is what he's lent us to do the stream with, and it's like that's absolutely diff That's amazing. Um, it doesn't all fit on, so. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh. He's a bloody good painter. Right, now how do I do the blow, blue glowing eyes? Um... So it is just the sockets and there Medifius have it um, glowing blue. He says and breaks it. So what colour blue? It's gonna be an ice blue. I'm 
thinking. Um, I have a light sea blue. Which is an airbrush paint as well, so it's going to be thin. Um, shake, shake, shake. And then I have electric blue. I think that's lighter. Um, I'm going to try with this. to go with I want to find it because I'm trying I need to go into the sockets so yeah electric boogaloo I'm gonna go with my size zero which is normally a lot lower yeah electric blue is a good color um azul mar whatever it is Thank you for the follow, Public Joe. Um, so, to get the eye socket, So, oh, sorry, guys. Can you see that, or is this going to be an issue? Let me try and fill it. So yeah. So what I've done is filled the sockets with the blue. Sorry, I was talking with my mouth full of paintbrush. Um, and what you can do is, if you circle it round, you can then just wipe it, and any way you've gone over the. Um, eye socket bone on the outside just comes off on your fingers uh, as long as you get it done while it's still wet there you go So they are reanimated. Um, I was going to try this with the uh, brush, but um, yeah, I think I'd even be struggling to get the airbrush down to that sort of level. But they do look yeah. I think that's on its highest zoom as well. So there. Um, and if I could do the same so I think Jack was asking me if I was going to have a colour that ties everything together I think I'm going to have glowing blue eyes because that's worked quite well. Um, what's loose there? What have I snapped? His hand is quite weak. Um, that's what you get for being a skilly mate. There 
we've got blue eyes under that so glowing blue eyes so death and susan having glowing blue eyes as well that'll be absolutely fantastic um all part of the ice necromancer mm. ice necromancer yeah they can have the same so yeah So, as for these fellas, um, I'm calling them, oh, stay frosty. I'm calling them, the blue's a lot brighter once you look into the rise. Um, it's probably the camera. I've probably got something bright on the camera, so it's, yeah, it's done it. From your skelly from my skin. yes public Joe death and Susan um, I don't know if you know what we're doing um, yes they are they're Discworld miniatures I've got them both we're doing this month is Frostgrave uh, so what I've got is I've got death as my necromancer um, and he's going to get painted up in the next couple of weeks hopefully next week ready for playing on the table and I've got his daughter Susan ready to go um, as his apprentice so uh, at the moment I'll go to the big picture so people can see I've got my um, wizard and apprentice um, I am painting more than I need, so I've got two. I've done three archers, but my warband only has. So I've got three archers, but my warband only has two. But they can grow. Um, so two archers, which are now complete. The draugr are going to be my thugs. So I've got two thugs, two archers. My thieves are two. Death, um, ooh, what they're called, night haunts. So they're my two thieves. I've got the Draugr captain as my treasure hunter. Sorry, I've got three thugs. Three thugs, two archers, two thieves. So it's two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's my. Um, current warband uh, but I've also got a spare archer that will come into it as well chain rasps that's the ones uh, but I've also got um, the character the uh, dragonborn to paint out of most of this set is the Elder Scrolls Bleak Falls Bar Barrow Delve starter set so um in that set you get three archers uh three draugr a draugr captain and a dragonborn so that's a, i could probably field most of that as my army at my um my list sort of thing but i wanted to yeah that's where he snapped do two chain rasps for thieves which does fit really nicely and i'd done one on a stream a while ago so i just uh, seconded him into service and that's him he just needs his base doing i've just done the base on this one but realized we've got damaged arm which needs repairing and then death and susan and the draugr to finish so i'm technically i'm calling the skellies um removed so that means once they get their um, oh, what's it called? The the varnish that uh, I recommend is Tester's Dullcourt. He's going to bite. He's got to bite at some point. Um, they will be done. So that will be two of my ten, um, which... It's pretty good going. So
So I'm going to not concentrate on my army now. Once I've got the stuff off the bottom of these. I'm going to concentrate. Oh, sorry, Jack. Uh, I'm using a summoner in Frostgrave. What? Summoner. Summoner. Um... Have you... You've got the pack that I got, didn't you? It, it's... Um... Uh, Tester's Dull Coat. It's the varnish that I recommend to everyone. Um, it's amazing. It's brilliant. It's bound here somewhere. I think it was round here somewhere. I'm wondering if someone has thrown it all in the bin because they may have got sick of me talking about it. Hmm. I've put it somewhere safe. <laughs> Oops. Might be on the shelf. <laughs> yes, I definitely recommend Tester's Dull Coat. It is the dullest of coating of dullest coating this going. On the right hand side. Have you been staring at it all day and it been a night? Oh, yeah, there it is. I need to ask Ronan where stuff is now. So, Tester's Dull Coat, it's the best coating for miniatures uh, I have ever come across. It's expensive. Um, you can pick it up now and again for £5 for a tin like that. So, if, if you consider a GW pot isn't... <laughs> yeah. Um, Use it sparingly and only use it on miniatures. Don't use it on scenery and stuff like that. There's other stuff out there for scenery. Best stuff ever. Um, so other than that, I don't know what other, uh, other stuff's out there that's anywhere near as good. So yeah, is there nothing summoner ish-esque in that wizard's pack i've got the wizard's pack here and i'm as soon as i've took this off um uh, the 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 sticky tack on the bottom of the uh, the skelly bases which means they can make way for the draugr so, draugr number one I'll have a look at that because that's what I'm going to do now, Jack. Uh, I'm going to build the um, the Wizard and Apprentice for the giveaway. So if people weren't here yesterday, the giveaway will be a fully painted 10-man um, warband. So during the stream and a little bit, But need yeah i've just ordered some more of the packs um i've not even looked i'll be honest with you Matt. i've not even looked into this one yet so i'm not 100 percent sure whether we could do a summoner or if it is just wizards um i don't know how how would you identify a summoner as a summoner and not just a, a wizardy type block um or did you say you've got your wizard and oh have you got your summoner Am I being a Dalton and only reading half the text, mate? I do apologise. Oh, yeah. Ignore me. Yeah. Yeah. Ig ignore me. Mm -hmm. He carries it as... Summer. Yeah. Um, so, yes, Jack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't read what you'd said. My bad. 
there is a few other packs that I've got coming. Um, uh, when they come, we can have a look through them, see if there's anything. Because I'm not going to need everything. So if you're after one or two models, I don't mind um, you doing a click and collect and coming and getting them. The purple one was phenomenal, mate. We shared it in here as well. So my three skellies on, on the shtick. Um, don't do this at home. Go outside and do it. But the only reason I'm not doing it outside at the moment is cold bad weather so it was literally four squirts of that can to do those two um, uh, to do those three if you're doing any more than that you're wasting it um, because that will seal them lovely, lovely so you can see they're a bit shiny now but they will soon go so and, oh the way for now so they don't get broken so let's move my war band out the way and you yes um can i make a suggestion jack and you will be going in direct competition to what i'll be doing um but i'm happy with that <laughs> that that is Testers dull coat, the coat of Testers. Um, so you get two of the same sprue by the looks of it. Yep, ten. So, first things first. Yeah, it's minus numbers here, Archnin. I would like to say that we may have bad weather, but we don't have a bad Trump. But we have someone just as bad, so I'm not even. So, two bases, two wizards, or a wizard and an apprentice. Um, does it show you on the back the three options? Yeah, we've got frost, we haven't got snow. Um, which one do you fancy? Has everything calmed down over there now, arching in? Um, I'm not too keen on the. I think I like that one. Well, we haven't been that far yet. Possibly. The black and red one, he does look cool with the. Um, I'll never be able to do the cross, cross work pattern on him that is phenomenal work um, but oh there's an oh there's a little norm so you get five yeah I am looking forward to the 20th for numerous reasons. Um, I do like the staff that Jack used, by the way, which is this one. Um, thinking the book for The Apprentice, or more so for The Apprentice. Let me have some closer gigs on. Yeah, he's uh, he still keeps finding ways around it though. Um, I'm trying to work out. So that's the monk one. That's the one that's made quite Chinesey. That's that. I think it's that one. Is it that one? Yeah, uh, just a lot of it's done on. It's, they've painted it quite dark. So, there's our wizard. 
and I'm thinking <laughs> through the <laughs> Here, yeah, Mr. President, have you seen this at the top floor of your tower? Um, I'm going to go with that one for The Apprentice. So I am going with the staff like um, Jack has used. Did you do an orb, Jack? I was thinking an orb in the other hand. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm just trying to have a look at. There is so many options on these sprues. It's. On the other hand, open. Right, okay. I'll try and do something different. Oh, so yeah, he's got that. Um, so that's that hand. I need. Oh, the other hand. That's why. What kind of so it's got the yeah that that is a scroll mm. yeah I'm gonna go with the orb so I'm going with two glowy items hello Dan how's you doing oh no that orb goes in the same oh I've done it wrong done it wrong um, okay let's try the orb in this hand I'm good mate I'm trying to figure out multi part option kits is and how it will look once it's done. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. So orb, staff with an orb in, and a head. What kind of head do we want? A rinse wind head, uh, a sneaky head. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those ones that um, when it comes through on the sheets, I'll believe it, mate. Just, yeah. I'm going with that one. So, first, <laughs> I have just have this sneaking feeling we're going to get. Um, delays from X, Y, and Z. Uh, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> I 
I'm not going to hold my breath to say that. Um, I do want to do these. Ash, remind me to do emails. <laughs> After this, if you're still about, please, you're a star. <sighs> I need a secretary. Right, let's get his head in place first. Uh, remind me to do e mails after. <laughs> well okay Ronan you come on um, discord after I've done this and remind me to do emails oh there we go wizard Combat wizard. Yeah, <laughs> Ash is the evening shift. You've had to deal with me all day, mate. So, I'm thinking, um, so I'm going with the, obviously the hooded figure, so they're definitely both going to be hooded. But this one is more, I'm, I'm presuming younger, so he's going to catch a letter, Matt. Yes, catch you next week. Uh, if you're not on over the weekend, that is, I'm hoping to do a weekend one as well. Hoping to. So, a scroll in one hand. And I'm thinking... Is that the same hand for the book? So that's the same hand for the book. Are they the same? No. I'm thinking of stealing Ronan's idea. Don't tell him that, though. Uh, so, that is more of a ruffle and a... So, he's reading a book. Um, and it's a strapped bracer. gonna get a bit clever um, I think that's the same bracer and stuff as that one yeah so um, the book well you funny you should say that the company that does this uh, Craig are 
just announced just at the end of last year that they're going to do um oh i'm going to get into so much trouble because i can't remember its name um I keep calling it Space Grave, um, but I'm almost saying it's not Space Grave. It is something else. Um, Stargrave. That's the one. I knew it was one of them. And that is, good night, Con. Take care. Yeah, that is basically um, the same. From what we can understand, it's the same setup and same game. Cool. Yeah, catch you later, mate. Take care. So yeah, it's basically the same game from what we understand. Um, and if that's the case, all of the Legion. Oh, Apothecary you could do, yes. Um, so, Jack, I don't know if you can see. Oh, how long has it not been working, guys? Sorry. Catch you later, Egan. So, uh, what you haven't seen is me basically build these two guys. Um, so, Wizard with his ball and the Apprentice with his book, learning new spells as he goes. Um, da -da -da. I was going to do a little pile of books, but uh, in the other hand, but it looked better him going. Um, but yes, Jack, if you look here where my finger is, there's a couple of little bottles. Um, if you were to do one of the, probably the monk. What what do you reckon about the monk? Um, probably Tamo. So Jack, the monk, um, try and do some um, some of the hands where it can hold one of the little bottles. So there's loads of little bottles here as well. So you've got loads of little bottles, um, actual portion bottles, yeah. So there's a portion bottles there. You could have a cracking little um, apothecary out of that lot. But what I was going to suggest, um, it might be a bit, bit like what um, Ash is doing. So there's a lot of people out there don't like painting, Jack. That cost twelve quid. I've got the big box, big picture. Yeah. So 12 quid. Even if you talk 15, delivered. Um, you could basically go 5, 10, 15. Take the two out that you want. Build the other three sets up. Uh, three up. Have uh, Wizard Apprentice, Wizard Apprentice, Wizard Apprentice. Do a paint job like you would do, like the one, like the purple one you've done, and then stick them up on eBay as a painted wizard and apprentice. At the level that you did them, I'd be very surprised if you couldn't get thirty quid for a set fully painted, even if you drop it down to twenty-five a set. 
there's people that would pay that there's sets of five on there for 40 quid at the moment and they're not massively i'd say yours yours and ashes were a lot better but that's what that's what we've decided to do we've got three warbands worth there i've got a whole load more coming so i'm going to be able to make up some warbands with some thugs uh some thieves some just make a complete warband box it all up put it on um as a complete ready to go even print out a warband sheet yeah there's a ghost wizards at 35 um people will pay it it's even if you mark them as um D, &D characters as well the people will come along as long as you market them right i think you'll do quite a quite a, quite a good trade out of them i think ash has already had his first sale and congratulations to ash and snack my advice to the oh, my advice to the pair of you still stands work at a pound a pound an hour at 10 pound an hour the snack um so if you paint them too and it takes two hours to paint them 20 quid 25 pound including materials so put them up at 30 quid plus delivery up at, uh, and maybe he's take an offer um go down to 25 if they've been up there if they don't sell in the first couple of weeks don't be too worried um you're doing fairly specialist stuff so people are going to come along i've got i shall tell you i've got um searches open where i'm looking for war bands as well um not willing to pay too much for them but that's me just being a um a cheapskate but do a couple of uh, a wizard and an apprentice uh, do a pair of thugs out of any of these kits that you've been picking up the bits that are left over throw them together paint them up throw them back on ebay you'll get money back in to do the bits that you need to do for other stuff um not sure why these come with eight um wizards but you can easily you could probably split them down and sell them um quite nicely yourself sort of thing um and sorry i've been missing it thanks for the follows mikey mike and shameless soul that's uh, much appreciated and i think i saw damien um from uh, the x-wing like the stream but i'm presuming that's over on the book of faces so i'll let these two fellas dry um yeah i'll be honest with you if i was playing it a lot more i think i'd want different ones and have a couple of different war bands so it's not too much and it's 12 quid it's not a massive it's not like you're buying a 35 pound set of gw miniatures that you need all 10 but you need the uh, all 10 four times or three times to fill out your army this is you need two of these and you need a couple of bits out the other ones i think you, i think there could be some good money to be made that's why i've been twisting ash's arm into doing bits and pieces as well um and I'll, I'll be doing them as well so but there's there's enough stuff out there to for people to um pick and choose what they want and uh, competition between us lot is, it's quite healthy it's good fun I, i'll do a chart uh, <laughs> um for where well, you could you could do a pile of heads in a cart or something like that um or an arm on the floor at the bottom of a necromancer or stuff like that but yeah it's all um to have the mass 
ability to customize it to exactly how you want it with a lot of options available um i've got the skelly one somewhere um i've not looked at it fully yet but i've got the skelly one and whoa let me just have a quick look see which ones i've ordered well that's bright um Uh, oh no, I should just go to my um, account. <laughs> View. Oh, that was expensive. Ooh, didn't realise I'd ordered that. Anyway, <laughs> so I've ordered the box of Frostgrave cultists. Um, because there was some good thieves and stuff like that that I could use in there. I know they are for one of the scenarios. Oh, I've made it bleed. Um, I ordered myself another two treasure chests. So I've got six of these cracking little metal treasure chests now um, on the way. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, I ordered the knights, the soldiers and the frostgrave soldiers too. I've ordered a pack each of them. I'm almost certain that they come um, quite well populated as well. Um, considering I should have bought the Barbarians one now, but uh, it's a bit too late. They're on the way. Let's have a quick look for them. Is that one? Undead, Undead Encounters. Nope. So it's the plastic kits that I went for. Uh, so we had the ability to, to make them up as we wanted. So then soldiers make a hundred weapon options. Um, yes, there's official cultists. Um, they're all these types of boxes, Jack, that I've been buying. So you definitely have the options out there um i'll show you them next week they're, they're coming in um so uh frostgrave soldiers 2 is female soldiers so you get 20 different female soldiers looking at it there's um you could probably do your entire army out of one of these um there is people with spears swords crossbows um Bow, normal bows, sword and shield. So from that box, from the female, uh, from Frostgrave Soldiers 2, you could probably do your entire, um, entire warband. The cultists I went for um, are, da, 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 make 20 different figures. So again, um, multi-part heads, blah, 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 blah. But they're very... I did them for thieves. The cultists look very sneaky. They've got very close to Ku Klux Klan um, masks and stuff like that on. But yeah, they're very, um, very cultist. And basically, I'm going to use them as uh, the thieves and the maybe it's the thugs as well. Um, there's, there's that option. Uh, I'm looking for the knights box because I think the knights, the soldiers box, and the yeah the soldiers box is again twenty different soldiers and they they are different. They've got archers. Again, you could probably make your entire war band from that. Um, Hundred weapon arm variants, forty heads, thirty pieces of equipment. No two wizard war bands should ever be the same. Hence why this is done and where's the knights the knee uh, frostgrave knights which are like um it's knights and rangers so includes knights templars marksmen's and captains it's a specialist soldiers so you can make 10 specialist soldiers from these so again, there is 50 weapons, 40 heads, 30 pieces of equipment. A massive amount of 
ability to um, switch up and change stuff. And then, as Ash said there, the cultist captain you get as a um, standalone figure, and I think they're in pewter, so they they look pretty good. Um, do the books give other cast not other caster options? They give other. Um, I had the book and I put the book to one side. Uh, they give different soldier options um, so you can get I'm sure there's a werewolf there's a captain and, and they replace things like your archers and, and that sort of stuff so yes there's there's not casters but there is other options in the books later on as you go along um, but we haven't ventured into that yet we will uh, and the uh, so the idea about uh, he can actually hold it and run around with it but again just a little piece of these are two pound uh two pound each and they're fantastic for what they are let's say i've got another two coming um uh, and they're just the perfect scale for what one of these guys would actually pick up and lug about um so i need to get them painted as well now i was in two minds about whether putting them on bases or not uh maybe he's, i don't know and then we've we've got other stuff i'm definitely going to get the um i've got the spiders to do probably the dwarves to do two war bands to do so we've got like a lot in store for the next couple of weeks um i don't know how badly christmas uh, so this is a one two three so we've got another six nights um and i will be doing bits during no no one wants me wants to see me paint the base colors of a draugr sword and a draugr um pair of ruffled up trousers i'll paint them off stream do the finishing bits to them so you can see how they started today as we went on how we got some of the the colors Ooh, what's king are asking for <laughs> horkers um and hello kinger welcome to the party even though the party's nearly over pissed off walruses um so yeah uh, i'm gonna build let's say i'm gonna build the the war band to give away but when these other boxes come i might be i might give you the, you guys the options it needs two thieves and it needs two thugs that's that's part and parcel but if we can work out how to do the um, poles, we might stick a pole up and see what um, top end stuff we should put in. Uh, and that will be for the top five. As I said, that will be a Robin Hood thief. Yep, um, that would be that will be a full set of ten for the top five um, contributors for the month. Uh, and that will be again it'll be drawn on Thursday the 28th um, as the rest have been on the last Thursday of our shows uh, to see what other things I still have the boxes to go through and if I run out of stuff to paint which I don't think I will um, there's plenty in those boxes to, to be getting on with uh, I'll get the pri I'll get the primers down and stuff on the things like the spider. Um, there's a couple. There's two spiders. These are just the D and D miniatures, and we've based them with Protec uh, bases just to make them a bit a bit more solid. Son, 
Twitch has gone funny. Uh oh. Twitch has gone. How funny is it gone? <laughs> Has it gone all blocky and horrible? Right. We've had, on my screen it has gone um a bit weird. I know we've just got a cookies request through which won't accept either. Because um, I was trying to look at where everyone is in the twi in the prize draws. Um, right. I can't actually. Oh, I'm looking on the wrong one, that's why. Let's have a quick look at this, make sure that nothing has broke properly. Hmm. It is actually saying ProTech is no longer available. Not all of the chat. Uh, we do have the announcements blocked on the chat up here. Um, don't know why Twitch has broken down on there. It seems to be, I can see all of this on here. It seems to be working fine. Um, what I was wanting to do is raid someone. But for some reason, um, it seems to have broken on the login. Something went wrong uh, with my login. Yeah, I think Twitch, it, Twitch is having a moment. Uh, so I can't actually do what I wanted to do tonight. And that was to send you over to another streamer. Oh. Oh. Anyway, so uh, da, da, da. I'll figure out why that's not wanting to work anymore. Ah, and now it's suddenly fixed. Yeah, there is something amiss. It won't let me yeah Clive it won't let me chat anymore um, but ooh, I wonder why that's done that I'm guessing ooh, that's right it's down to yeah so much wrong on twitch it's showing me the channel, but won't let me log in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing there's, there's issues because I can't see the people I normally follow on Twitch. Um, all my favourites have vanished for both of my accounts. I, I broke it. Um, which isn't good. Not for Twitch anyway. 
Yeah, something went wrong. We couldn't find your recommendations. Yeah. Um, YouTube and Facebook are still okay. It's, I'm, only th I'm thankful that we do stream to most of them now. Um, because our Twitch, chat, Twitch viewers has just dropped through the floor. So I'm guessing you're not the only one with problems, Clive. So I think the only thing that we can do at this point is... Um, we'll probably have something on over the weekend if every, anyone's around for it. It is going to be very casual. We probably would even have um, our Discord running so people will be coming backwards and forwards and we'll be ch literally chatting crap. Yes, Twitch has gone down, Jack. Uh, I've just noticed the viewers dying off. Um and can't do anything about it it's not fixing so I'm going to call it there um, thank you everyone I forgot to thank everyone for the donations last night so thank you all for the donations and for all of the subscriptions last night uh, and the resubs and everything it is much appreciated it keeps this it bought the soldiers well done mate um, if you want to check, well, me and Ash are in Discord uh, after this, Jack. If you do want to have a quick chat, we'll be over there for uh, probably a couple of hours getting some painting done and maybe some bit of tanks. So, again, thank you, everyone, for coming by. We will be back as soon as possible, probably Saturday or Sunday, maybe Saturday afternoon with a bit of a chill-out, relaxed one. Um, we will catch everyone there. In the meantime, everyone stay safe, and we'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.